your feet across a carpet, charged particles called electrons can be transferred from the carpet to you. When positive and negative charges are separated, the stored electrical energy increases. The charges you have picked up from the carpet give you electrical energy that you store until you touch something like a metal doorknob or another person that allows the energy to be released. You feel this as a mild shock as the energy leaves your body. Although the ability to store some electrical energy is common, devices called capacitors are purposely designed to store large amounts of electrical energy. A typical capacitor consists of two conducting surfaces, usually metal plates, separated by an insulating material like air, rubber, or paper. This insulating material is called a dielectric. The capacitor can be charged by connecting one plate to the positive terminal of a battery and the other to the negative terminal. The electrical field produced by the battery causes electrons to flow towards the positive terminal of the battery and away from the negative terminal. This causes the two capacitor plates to become charged. One will be positively charged and the other will be negatively charged. The insulating material keeps the charges from crossing over from one plate to the other and allows the capacitor to store electrical energy. If it is disconnected from the battery, the charges will remain stored in the capacitor until it is connected to another electric unit. The capacitance of the capacitor tells you how much charge it can store when connected to a particular battery and is measured in units of farads. The capacitance, C, of a capacitor can be determined by measuring the amount of charge stored on each plate, Q, when it is connected to a battery with a certain voltage, V. C is equal to Q divided by V. 